Merry Christmas everyone, this is AB Creative. I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas. I thought today I would paint something not traditionally Christmassy and I chose a butterfly as a symbol of rebirth and transformation as we go into the new year. We are going to be combining some popular techniques with some new ideas and exciting colours, so let's get right into it. This is going to be super easy, super quick. I've got three colours in the background. This is Prussian blue, paints grey and pearl white. I'm just squirting some of the paint here and using my old makeup brush, just covering the background randomly, just like this. Some streaks of lighter and darker blue. If you do a quick job, you like, have some streaks. If you go over and over, the colours will obviously blend. This is a super quick option, you know, if you pour, you have to wait longer. With this one, I'm not going to wait at all. It's going to be very quick. You may want to skip this stage, but I am just using my pencil and sketching roughly where I want the wings to be. Once I mention pencil, I'm actually thinking well, we can use Posca pen, we can use any marker just so if you want to see it better. I'm going to pour paint over it anyway, so even if I make a mistake now. Well, that's a super quick sketch. Once I pour it, it will change slightly anyway. Now I've got this fine line applicator. The nozzle is actually not that thin. But because there's quite a lot of black at the edges of this type of butterfly, I don't mind. I might, oh, straight away made a blob. So now I'm making a dot here. It's supposed to be a morph, but maybe a cross with some other blue butterflies. I've got this interesting blue. And I'm going to make some blue stripes. So you've noticed I have a, a dry background which may work or may not too well. So I need to cover every section with paint to make sure that the chain will be dragging the paint nicely. Now we've got lighter blue. I'm just imagining the butterfly, I'm not really copying a particular one. I might add a bit of white. I got new paint. It's pale glacier blue. It's quite a substantial tub and I'm going to use it now. I think it will look awesome. It's very light. So we've got some shimmer here as well. I do wonder if anybody noticed that I've been using the same color palette for the whole month. In my long tutorials and my shorts it's all blues frosty blues, very very Christmassy. This is 1.5 millimeter chain. I've got different ones but this is my favorite. Yeah it's very important that you have a container with water while you're working with chains because once you pull one you should drop it in water otherwise those little balls get really clogged with paint and it's very difficult to clean it off later. I can still see some air bubbles. You see the huge one? I did quite a few butterfly paintings before, but I always had a wet background. My actually first butterfly I saw on, on YouTube was by designer Gemma. Oh, nice. 
nice colors. It's a bit too much, but that gives me some nice pattern. I actually like it. Oh, I do like that pattern. Oops. If only I could manage to reproduce the, you know, the second wing the same way, then I would leave it. Excuse me, the noise. I might scoop it up, the palette knife. Okay, now I've learned that there's way too much paint. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove, I'll probably redo this wing. I do like this pattern, but just do it again. And then I'm going to get rid of some paint on this side. Better. You can use a spoon. You can just get rid of it. That's a pretty pattern. Now for these ones I'm going to turn so it's more comfortable for me. I added a few more drops because I, th I thought I took too much colour off here. Perfect, yeah! If you make a butterfly like this I would love to see it, so please send me a picture via Instagram, that would be awesome. Every Friday I post my followers' lovely uh, artworks. Well, okay, I've done every single one twice, so maybe I should do this one twice as well. Maybe it's one of those days I'm just particularly clumsy. because I want it to be super quick and it's already 12 p.m. Let's have a look. All right, yeah, we rescued it. So now I'll wait for it to dry and I'm going to add the body. Since it's totally wet still, I've decided just to emphasize the black line here, just with the tip of my brush a little bit. This is the next stage. I, I just traced my butterfly here and I'm going to transfer this onto my Frisco paper and I'm going to cover the butterfly. It's not finished, the middle part is not finished, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to do the background now. So this is the way I transfer images if I need to. I just press it down. There you go. This time it's really rough, quick job. Just like this. It's folded here because this is the very end of the frisket paper. I just finished the whole roll. Need to order some more. Here it's up. That's it. I got these lovely stencils recently and I thought they would be a beautiful background. I was going to use gold spray paint, but I think now that some of you may not have spray paint at home, so I'll show you how to use just regular acrylic paint and create some nice background for the butterfly. Look, the head is going to be here, so this is a really nice focal point. I do want to cover the whole background, so I'm going to use half of the pattern this top and I'm going to move it down. I'm covering it because I don't want to uh, put any paint on this section yet. I haven't done that before, as usual, so I'm kind of improvising. Three options. I've got um, this is all Arteza Gold. It's a beautiful gold. Then I have Pearl Golden Hour. And I also have Ancient Gold or Antique Gold. This is my makeshift 
artist palette. Just some cling film over the plate. I can use either my old makeup brush. As you can see, I just utilize everything I find at home. Or sponge, makeup sponge. Start with the sponge first. Now make sure you don't move your stencil. You can attach it if you wish. A long time ago, I think I've seen someone doing something similar. Um, I think it was a lovely artist, very talented artist, uh, Sandra Lett. I believe that she did a butterfly with, with some stencils around as well. Because I've got another job, I don't often have time to to see what other artists are doing, which is a shame, but holiday time comes, I'll try to catch up. So I'm just happily dubbing, put some music on, have a cup of tea. I'll do a bit lighter just in the middle the edges as they are. Okay, this part is done. I just positioned the second part. As you can see this is the first time I'm using the stencil but you can clean them of course and reuse them. They are reusable, I'm not going to throw it away. little section. Wow that's so nice. I think I'm happy with it now. So I'm adding now just the edge here. I picked a section that might go well with the rest. Okay how is it? Yes! Yeah yeah yeah. I'm happy. Okay, so peeling off the butterfly and then we can finish the mid part. Peeling off, that's always the most exciting part <laughs> for me. Oh, you can see the gold got over the, the little bit. Still take it off. It's my black pouring mix, and I'm just touching the area with a brush. It is mass black, but now comparing to the dry paint, it looks kind of grey, but it is black. a pretty little butterfly that I hope will inspire you creatively as we spend time with our families and head into the new year. Thank you so much for making it such a wonderful year. You are all incredible and I am so proud of the community we've built here. I wish you all the best and I will see you in the new year. Bye bye!